Yeah, check it out. I think it's absolutely hysterical that people associate the Bible with Christianity. Listen, man, the Bible is not a religious book of do's and don'ts. It is a absolutely lit book of divine revelation. And when I'm talking divine revelation, I mean that its purpose is to reveal the divine in you as you. Like, and not just the Bible, like any scriptural text, and there are many, 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 you actually... What you really are is a scriptural text. <laughs> it's powerful. We'll save that for another time. But whenever I quote the Bible, which I do all the time because I grew growing up as a Christian, I was always in the Bible, really enjoyed the Bible, loved the Bible. The Bible spoke to me. It spoke to me on a very deep level. At any time I would ask people about the Bible or I would come up with, you know, I would be looking at it from a different viewpoint, those within the Christian world would always, no, 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 this is what it is, and this is how it has to be, and this is what you must do. And the Bible is your guide, it's the law, it's telling you how to get to God. And so the Bible, I was always told from the very beginning that the Bible was basically this book of separation. There's me, and then there's God, and this is how I get to God, and this is how one day I get to heaven, and this is how I overcome the enemy, and all this BS. And no, man, the Bible's none of that crap. It's none of that. It never has been any. The Bible has been all and always will be pointing you, simply pointing you to your true self, your true nature. Because we've fallen prey to the belief that we are something that we're not. We've begun to believe that we're this sinner, that we're this man, that we're this fallen, this fallen being. And we're just trying to get back into the good graces of God. But that's just not what the Bible says. The Bible says that you and God are one. That he who's been joined to the Lord has been made one, one spirit together with him. That there is one Lord, one God, one Savior. That there is simply the I am that I am. And that I am is your true nature. That nature within Christ in you the hope of glory that you and the father are one as i and the father are one so you and the father are one abide in me i and you and you'll bear much fruit like this is the this is the entire point of the bible always has been and of really any true scripture is to reveal your oneness your isness your being and so the bible is not a Christian book. However, when I quote the Bible, people immediately assume, oh, uh, he's some sort of crazy Christian. And it's fine if you want to assume that I'm a Christian. I haven't associated myself with Christianity in many, many years. But it's fine if you want to associate that. I don't have any problem with Christianity or any other religious sect. I just simply know that as soon as you get caught up in the idea, the concept of Christian, you miss what you really are. Um, you can no longer, no, you, you really are no more Christian than you are a Muslim. And that's the truth of the story. We're just people. We're divine beings that grew up in different parts of the world, were taught different things, had different things revealed to us, different encounters with different beings that revealed different things to us that were all really trying to point us in the same direction. We are gods. Does it not say in your scriptures that you are gods? For the divine to be really truly revealed in us, though, this temporal idea of ourself, the ego, the old man, all of this all of this stuff that's not even really true, it's not real, it's just belief, it gets stripped away in this revelation. So as it's become such a part of our identity, the idea or the belief of this old nature has become such a part of our identity that it, it really starts getting stripped away and what's being revealed is isness being effortless life man that's what's being revealed and while this feels uncomfortable at first because it really does feel like at times like death um just why jesus said yeah, whoever wants to find his life must lose it it feels like death but i promise you that it's not only necessary but it's it's doing something powerful it's revealing who and what you truly are and I promise if you begin to look at the Bible and you see it through this mystic lens of uh, esoteric revelation instead of exoteric law, 
I promise what will happen is your study or your reading of the Bible will shift dramatically. A lot of you have stopped reading the Bible because you can only see it through the lens of religious do's and don'ts. When you begin to see it as this book of empowerment, of revelation, revealing what and who you really are. I mean, the entire thing, Old Testament through the New Testament, and uh, and, and the extra biblical books as well, or lots of extra biblical revelations. When you begin to see the Bible, specifically through that lens, your entire experience is transformed. You go from feeling horrible when you read the book, feeling condemned, to and there is no now, therefore, no condemnation to those who are in Christ. <laughs> feeling empowered, feeling loved, feeling joyous, feeling one. And so I strongly encourage you to check out the Bible from this new light. Drop your Christianity. Drop your ideas. It's just an idea. Christianity is just an idea. Christ, what we are, the Christ is real. Christianity is just an idea. And I know you might be saying, well, Silas Christianity used to follow Christ. No, you, can't, you don't follow what you're one with. <laughs> you can't follow your true nature. That, see, that's what Christianity is built upon. It's being like Christ or trying to follow Christ. No, it's really built upon law. And um, again, you can be that if that's what you want. If you want to go to church and you want that to, you enjoy that sort of thing and you enjoy that sort of uh, that sort of camaraderie, then by all means do it. I have nothing against it. I'm just encouraging you to check out the Bible through a new lens instead of just through the lens of those that are peddling it from the pulpit and using it to manipulate the masses. I want to strongly encourage you to check it out from the lens of empowerment and of revelation. Listen, I hope you have a beautiful fucking day. Uh, remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.